So in this clip I'm going to demonstrate how to use an external toolbox in MATLAB. What I have here is on my desktop a folder called m underscore code and in that folder I have saved my MATLAB programs. So let's have a look inside the folder. So there's a subfolder called project. That's where I'm going to have my little um, piece of code which I want to use in our case the AI example underscore small example. So in that code what I want to do is estimate an AR1 model. I don't want to go into too much detail just to set the context right. I'm importing some data and then I am using a little function OLSS. We have written that somewhere else on the Eclair website. I use that to estimate an AR3 model. So for the AR3 model I need a Y and an X. The Y is our series but I have to leave out the first three observations in the X. I just add, um, add in the three lags of that series. I hand that into the OLSS and as an output I get all sorts of stuff amongst others B1 the parameter estimate. Then I'll also use the Amax filter function. That's a function from the MFE toolbox and I use that to also estimate an AR3 model. That's what the 1 to 3 input is here. You should check the univariate time series model section on Eclair to see exactly how to use this Amax filter function. So it, importantly it comes from the MFE toolbox written by Kevin Shepard. So if I run this I will get a problem because I haven't on my computer downloaded the MFE toolbox yet but I just want to see want you to see what happens so we will firstly we'll fuse the OLSS function and I obtain our parameters for the AR3 process a constant and three coefficients but once I get to the Amax filter command on line 31 it MATLAB produces an error message because it doesn't have the uh, Amax filter function. Now if in MATLAB you are not quite sure whether you have a function here, the Amax filter function, what you should do is you should type which and then the name of the function. So which Amax filter and press enter and if MATLAB doesn't know it it will tell you about it. Amax filter not found. Let me show you what we get if it knows a function. So I'll type which tcdf. That's a function to get uh, uh, the cumulative density function and it gives you the path here. It's in the stats toolbox. Okay, So that's the difference between a function it knows and one which it doesn't know, the Amax filter function. Alright, so what we need to do next is we need to get to the MFE toolbox on the Eclair website. There's a link on the main page but also in the univariate TS page. That's a Bitpocket website and we can download this toolbox from here, from download. Of course this will all differ depending on what toolbox you want. Okay, and That will be saved to different places. So I have it here. It's a zip file. I want to extract it. And I'll extract it into my M code folder. Okay, so I'll just select OK here. Now I extract it. Here it is. So I'll just finish. I close the zip file. So I go to the M code folder now. And you can see there is a folder here. Uh, if we look into the folder, we'll see there's all sorts of goodies. Okay, It's like MATLAB Christmas here. All, all sorts of interesting stuff to do amongst others or MFE filter. Firstly I'll rename it just a more convenient name, just MFE. You can do that without any trouble. So now to MATLAB. Now let's just see if I run the code again. Now the, the function is there. Does MATLAB find it? So I run the code again but I get exactly the same error message. It still doesn't find the Amax filter function. So what's the reason for this? The reason for this is that MATLAB has search paths. So if you, for instance, if you own your MATLAB function, if it's MATLAB on your own computer rather than a, a file, you can go to File, Set Path, 
rather than a lab and then add this subfolder so now you could go to where your MFE is here the M code MFE you could highlight the folder and then click OK and it would add all these folders to the search path for MATLAB and then it would find the RMAX filter function. You can see here there's a list of folders. In all these folders MATLAB will look for functions but our MFE folder isn't there yet. Now if you don't own your MATLAB software, so if you are in a computer cluster for instance this won't really work. So I'll show you a different way that is possibly more suitable if you're sort of using different MATLAB functions. So let me close this for the time being. So what we need is the following. We'll add a line at the beginning of our code. Now I've done that before. So we basically need to tell MATLAB look in our MFE folder as well for functions. So I'll first just copy that line across here and the command which we use is called add path that basically adds folders to the MATLAB search path. Forget for the moment about gen path that uh, second um, keyword in there. If you were just to type add path and then add this C uh, colon slash and then the path where you have your MFE basically what would happen is that MATLAB would add this particular folder to the search to the list of folders in which it will search. Now what it will do then it will look in the MFE folder which we have here okay so that's the MFE folder but it will check all the files whether the RMAX filter file function is there. It's not there. The reason is it's in the time series subfolder. Okay, there's the RMAX filter function. But it's not straight in the MFE folder. So what we really want to do is we want to add the MFE folder and the subfolder time series. A more you, So you could say add path and then the folder including the time series at the end. But more elegantly what we do is we add also this gen path thing. Okay, so gen path and then the MFE subfolder will basically create a list of all the subfolders included in MFE. And then if we say add path, gen path, our MFE folder, MATLAB will add that MFE folder plus all the subfolders to the MATLAB search path. Whew, that was a quite complicated argument. So we do this. I just add that to the beginning of the code, run the code, and now hopefully we don't get an error message. Exactly, here we go. No error message. So what has it done? We've uploaded the data. We've done, we've done our OLSS est estimation. So we estimated the, estimated the AR3 model with our usual OLS procedure. We, could, we know we could do that for AR models. And then we used the RMAX filter procedure to estimate an AR3 model. The output here, the parameters were saved in B2 and then I just display B1 next to B2. We can see the result and fortunately they both give exactly the same results as of course they should. So by adding this file, this line up here into your MATLAB script you can make sure that you add your MFE function. So basically what you can do is if you have an MFE subfolder in your MATLAB code or here M code folder in which you do all your coding, you can basically carry around that MFE like a proper toolbox and deploy it wherever you go, whichever MATLAB you work you work in.